We're DZ Death Rays. You're watching Speaker TV. Been touring for like the last year, pretty much year straight. Yeah, just I think we did four laps of the world this year yeah. or three. Yeah, either way, it was a long time. Yeah, I think we did. We like finished up. This is our kind of first and last show of of the year and start for next year. And so yeah, we think we do like 150 or so shows. We went to like 14 countries this year. Um, I think it was. 15. I fucked that up when. Oh, really? Yeah, I put it on Facebook. For us, it's completely unexpected. So, like, when we first decided that we wanted to start traveling overseas with the band, um, we didn't expect anything. We didn't really expect anything from the band ever. So, that, that was our sort of motto is to go over there with no expectations, and then, you know, you won't be disappointed. Uh, we always feel like there's bands who maybe can do really, really well in Australia and play, like, big shows, and then they go overseas and they get disappointed that, like, there's not that turnout. So, yeah, we just don't expect it. Everybody tells you that you're something else. Well, guess we'll see. Time will tell. The only thing that people like you ever know is how to be someone else. Well, we played in like a, a band before that. And uh, we tried really hard, like book gigs and shit. And then eventually, it didn't really pan out so well, so we just went back to playing house parties. That's kind of what we like doing, and then that's I guess I guess it just got momentum from there. So, like we grew up in the same hometown, like sort of North Queensland, and that was what you did on the weekend. There was like four or five par house parties to go to. There was no like there's no nightclub or anything, and there's you know we're all underage as well, so we were just like that was our thing. So yeah, we just went took that attitude and then. Like, you know, spent time going over to festivals and stuff, like being to Falls Festival, and we just saw acts that we were just like, they're party bands, you know, and just trying to adapt that, and yeah, we just thought, might as well start at house parties. Uh, I, don't, I think it was kind of the whole vibe, we just wanted the, the shows to be like house parties. So when we started playing venues, you know, we would make people get rowdy and do dumb shit on stage, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of fun when that happens. When, when you start to play like big stages and shit, and you realize that everything's gonna be, you kind of know what's gonna happen. You're just gonna go out and play a couple of songs. It gets kind of predictable, but when you encourage the crowd to go crazy, anything could happen. So we liked unpredictability and that sort of thing in shows. The last show is our homecoming show to Brisbane, uh, like last week or whatever, and um, it's just it was fucking insane. Like people were jumping off the second story balcony into the crowd and off the PA. There's like a queue of people lining up to get on the top of the PA to launch off into the crowd. It's kind of scared for other people in the crowd, but yeah. at the same time, it, it looked amazing. <laughs> and it was like great energy. Yeah, so when we got nominated for an ARIA, it was really bizarre. We didn't expect anything from the album, let alone to get nominated for a, one of those. And then we honestly didn't think we were going to win it, uh, to the point where our manager didn't even show up to the ARIAs or anything. We didn't. We just thought it was off the, you know, so far away. Yeah, yeah. And we then, were uh, yeah, we were overseas. And then first I heard of it, I had like a couple missed calls, waking up in William Bochum or something in Germany, and then. Yeah, it was just really unexpected. It was yeah. quite funny. You know what killed us? Like, Johan was there to accept if we did win, but he didn't get the chance. And the whole thing was like, he was saying he wanted to, um, he wanted to Kanye it, and he totally had the chance, and he didn't do it. And Taylor Swift was even there, and he he just didn't do it. Yeah. yeah they didn't give him the chance. They didn't give him a chance, but that's kind of like, you know, that was. He should have done. He should have just done it. That would have been perfect if they didn't give him the chance and he went up and he Kanye it, but. Yeah. Oh. Next year, Johan.
Secret TV.